Yeah. All right. What are you doing here? Vic's birthday meal. Oh, it's Vic's birthday? Oh, some mate you are. Well, he never said anything to me. Since when have you had a key to this place, anyway? Well, Vic just gave me a spare for emergencies. And this is an emergency, is it? Could be. You haven't tasted me cooking yet. Well, I'd uh, slow down on the Delia Smith bit if I were you. Why? Oh, Vic's on a job in Birkenhead. It depends on traffic, but you might be aware. Oh, well. In the meantime, I have to make do with you. Sorry about that. It's all right. Could be worse. Well, you'll make Bobby didn't seem to think so. Yeah, well, like I said, Bobby didn't know what's good for her. Yeah, mate, she's here. Well, yeah, of course we'll. Right, well, I'll see you when I see you then. All right, mate, sure. Everything all right? Nope. Vic's broken down. Not exactly what you call a happy chappy. Well, how long's it going to be? I'll do it. Do you know, this is just great, innit? I mean, I might as well have got a flaming takeaway. Well, hang on a minute. I don't think he exactly wanted to spend his birthday on the hard shoulder, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just I've got all this plan, that's all. I know you have. Right down to the last detail. What? I saw you there in the Rovers flashing that corset thing here, wasn't it? It's not a corset, it's a basque. It's supposed to enhance your natural curves. Not like you need it. Oh, careful. Was that a compliment? Sorry, it's uh, just kind of slipped out. Good. Because you've got your image to protect. And what's that? I don't know. Moody. Prickly. Dark and dangerous. Well, are you going to help me eat this then, or what? Well, it'd be rude not to. It's that half the time they go on about being feminists. You know, they want equality and all that kind of stuff. And then the rest of the time, they want to be treated like a lady. With wine, dine, entertain, whatever. And, um, I take it you don't agree with that now? You'd just rather... Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Well, no. No, I'm not saying that. I just don't see why women have to play these stupid games. I mean, if you fancy somebody, you should just tell them. Well, I've nothing to do this mind game rubbish. I agree with you. Do you? Yeah. I think if you see something you like, then you should grab it with both hands. <laughs> You're not talking to you. I'm a just. <laughs> Look, sorry. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Well, we can't. You liked it, didn't you? Yeah, n no. Look, we just can't, that's all. Lou says, look, I didn't plan this. I know, it's just... No, look, sorry, I can't do this. I mean, you'd be best mate's girlfriend. So? Well, I live with Vic. I work with him. I mean, it's his birthday, for God's sake. Oh, please. You didn't even know that. So? Look, I'm sorry, we just can't, OK? Yeah. Well, so am I. Well, wait a minute, you can't just go. Just forget it. Oh, well, well, what am I going to tell Vic? Oh, you'll think of something. I know. Why don't you tell him what a good mate you are, eh? Why don't you tell him how loyal you've been? Or you could just tell him the truth, that you wanted to. I mean, you really wanted to, just you can't, cos you're all talk and no action. At the end of the day, Steve, you just haven't got the guts. 